Welcome back to KG Constrictors. It's feeding day. One of my favorite days. And you're looking at a real intense hungry Farah. And she just struck her pound and a half rabbit. And then when I turned on the camera, she, uh, she let it go. I think it kind of spooked her. So we'll feed it to her again. We're not trying to... Come on. What are you doing? I'm trying to keep an eye on her as well, because she's, she's fast. Come on, sweetie. You never refuse a rabbit. What's up with you? There you go. So she's got her pound and a half rabbit. Uh, she is, of course, my super salmon. She's had four litters. Uh, 06, 07, 08, and 09. And she is really building her body back up after the litter that she had this past May. Her feeding schedule has been pretty aggressive. Uh, she had an extra large rat on the 16th of August. She had a pound and a half rabbit on the 9th. Um, so I'm really trying to uh, build her up good so she'll be ready to breed this fall. Originally I was thinking about giving her a year off, but a lot of the people I talk to, a nice shot of those teeth, say that, you know, she's in her prime and as long as she's got the good body weight, you can see those teeth, if I can get it to focus in those sheaths that's there. It's got some serious teeth. Um, you know, people say she's in her prime as long as she's got the good body weight. Go ahead and breed her, you know, it's not going to hurt her. So, I've been feeding her up just as if I was going to breed her this fall. And we'll see. Um, trying to think who I'm going to put her with. Uh, her mate from this last year, Thor, is going to be going with, uh, my, uh, my ghost to try to make some triple head moon glows. So I'm not sure uh, who I would put with her. Whatever I uh, end up putting with her, or whoever I end up putting with her, rather. We'll definitely make some really nice babies. Um, they'll be salmons, of course. And depending on who I put with her, they could all be super salmons. But um, I have got to get myself a jungle. I've got to get myself a motley. Something a little bit different. Um, and I was hoping this year I would have something like that, but it just didn't work out. So... Um, whatever I get as far as something new, such as a jungle or a motley, unfortunately it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be old enough to breed this fall, so chances are it's going to be like an, old, an 08 or an 09 baby. So, um, not really sure what I'm going to do with, uh, with Miss Farah this year, uh, if she does, uh, end up getting bred. But uh, she's got good body weight. She's looking good. So um, I'm going to leave her alone here and let her uh, finish this rabbit. Um, this is the first year that I've given her rabbits. Uh, all the other years I would give her, you know, rabbit, uh, rats. Big jumbo rats, like a couple of them a week when I'm trying to build her back up. Uh, this year I decided to try the pound and a half uh, rabbits. And she's really put uh, her body weight right back on, uh, no problem at all. She's actually, I think she's getting ready to go opaque pretty soon, based on the kind of look of, uh, she kind of has this dusty look about her, and she usually starts to kind of get that um, right before she uh, goes opaque. So my guess is she's going to eat this rabbit, and in a couple days she's going to go opaque, and she'll be shedding her skin. Um within the next, you know, seven to ten days or so. Uh, she's got a nice clean cage. And we will leave her be and let her enjoy her rabbit. And move on to feeding the rest of, uh, or a lot of the other boas here in my collection. So, uh, stay tuned for part two of, uh, of feeding day here at KG Constrictors.